Hey, Chris here. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I realized I've never really done this before. I wanted to talk a little bit about me, about where I'm coming from, about my background and kind of my stories. I've been going on this journey to where I am now. I think that maybe you can get something out of it and I hope that uh, help you relate a little bit better. So anyway, I was uh, raised in a typical middle-class household with good responsible parents who, as far as I know, never had to struggle to pay the bills. My dad worked a nine-to-five job as a programmer, which he still does to this day. My parents raised me to value education and hard work, and for the most part, it worked. I always did well in school, and by all appearances, I was well-positioned to get a reliable office job with above-average pay and good benefits, just like my dad. The only problem was I didn't want to. Although it seemed to everyone the logical path, I never really envisioned myself working at a desk job. I always had this feeling that I was destined for something greater. I rarely ever told anyone this because I was afraid people would mock my grandiosity. I was afraid people would think that I was too proud or they would reject me because I was arrogant, but the feeling was always in my mind nonetheless. I wanted to go on grand adventures like the heroes in the movies. I wanted to make a name for myself. I wanted to travel the world. But I didn't, I really didn't know how. School taught me how to take tests and complete assignments that were given to me, which is perfect to prepare me for a nine to five cubicle job, but completely useless for what I wanted to do. What I really wanted was freedom. I didn't want to be among the millions of office drones stuck in the same traffic jam every morning on their way to work. I didn't want to be just another office worker who has to drink an extra large coffee every hour just to stay awake at their miserable, soulless corporate desk jobs. I wanted to live life on my own terms. Even though this was what I always wanted, I took a long time to actually start taking action to get it. Instead, I did everything I was supposed to. I went to college, I graduated on time, and then I started looking for a 9 to 5 desk job. And 2010 was when I graduated. It was in the middle of a big recession right after the housing crash and nobody wanted to hire new college graduates. So much for the value of education, eh? So I spent the next year living at my dad's house, working as a waiter's assistant, not even a full waiter, and being totally depressed. I was in a bad place emotionally. I had no money and no idea what to do. My dream of freedom seemed completely impossible. After having no luck on the job market for a full year, I decided the only option I had left was to go back to school. So I went to grad school to get my MBA. I didn't want to spend another two years sitting in classrooms not making any money, but I was happy to be at least doing something that sort of felt productive. In the final semester of grad school, I and a team of other students were given an assignment to act as, a, as a consultants for a local business. My team was assigned to work with a local company that recycled old electronics and either sold them to the public or took them apart to sell the components and scrap metal. Not surprisingly, it wasn't a particularly profitable business. Anyway, for my part of the assignment, I put together an Excel spreadsheet that calculated the profitability compared to the costs required for the type of electronic item they accepted so that the company could better prioritize which items to recycle. Pretty exciting, eh? After finishing this project, however, I realized something big, something that would change my life. I realized that I could provide a valuable service to a company without actually being a nine to five employee with the skills I already had, and I could do it from anywhere. All I needed to create spreadsheets was a computer. Excited by my new discovery, I started selling myself as a freelance consultant, creating fancy Excel spreadsheets for companies. I threw together a simple Wix website, which I still have, even though I don't really do that kind of work anymore. I made a crappy logo in MS Paint, had some business cards printed, and started applying for jobs on freelance websites and putting up signs near big corporate office parks. It was a cool idea, but I had a hard time finding clients. I did find a few clients and did some pretty cool projects, but I didn't make enough money to truly realize my dream of being truly free to work on my own terms and travel whenever and wherever I wanted. But then I found a full-time job that was 100% remote. With that job, I got to travel wherever and whenever I wanted, and I got plenty of money because it was full-time work. I traveled around the U.S. to the Caribbean, to Colombia, Peru, Brazil, 
and to Europe, all while working from my laptop. Then I started learning about digital marketing and it got even better. I started making money by selling products online, selling both my own products and selling other people's products for commission. This was 100% passive income. I had just put up a sales page, drive traffic to it, and collect the money. I finally discovered true freedom. Now I get to li live life on my own terms. I get to experience something totally new all the time. I get to see all sorts of magical places, and perhaps most importantly, instead of wasting away my time and energy working for a job that doesn't fulfill me, I get to focus on the people, the experiences, and the ideas that are truly meaningful. It has totally transformed my life. So that's my story, and I hope that resonates with you. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, uh, you want to know, you want to know more, then please let me know. I'm happy to hear from you.